Hello everybody, it's Hilary here, the allotment grower. It's uh, been a few weeks since I've done another a clip for YouTube, so I'm just going to show you my progress now. Everything's in now, it's all been weeded. Um, all my comfrey, all my, my comfrey is all up and the bees, the bees are just loving that. So I just had a, a chap come along and ask if he could cut, dig some up. So I was happy for him to do that. Um, I don't know what's up with my rhubarb. Needs weeding again in there. Monday I'll just get in here and just turn it all over. I'm going to plant my flame of the forest there. Probably where it is now. I'll get all this grass up. Because it's just getting on my nerves. Um garlic there brush of sprouts come on nicely I've put my carrots carrots for all in now in rows done about three different types there is my calabrese iron man Corn and the cob is all in. It's doing well. That's another another Brussels sprout. I'm going to order some netting off eBay. Put some net all over this, so that'll be done. Got all my leeks. Leeks are in. We've got two rows of spring onion there, purple variety and the white Lisbon. And then I'll do a second crop in later on in between the two rows of leeks. Here is my giant... Um, oh, goodness me. Um... Oh, I can't remember what they are. Oh, anyway, marigolds in there as well. <coughs> Goodness sake, my memory is getting really bad. Into the polytunnel. Um, I have got some tomatoes coming up there. Got another one somewhere. But these are doing really well. There. And there. I do give them a prune just so that there's enough air getting through them. There's my pot leeks, they're doing great. I'm really chuffed with them. And down here, these are my Alicia Craig onions. And I've put a, fry, a trellis up there because I've got some melons, a couple of melon plants there. So, that'll be okay. <clears throat> Monday, I've got to give my plants a uh, paracetamol spray thanks to. Um, a chap, Mike. Oh God. Mm, oh. God, I don't know what's up with me today. I must be tired. There's a guy on the internet who does his own website. It's all about tomatoes. He's brilliant. Actually, Ian Nocton um, on YouTube. Hello. He um, mentioned him as well, and he's just just put a clip on YouTube explaining about it. So, because I can't remember the guy's name, he does the in, the actual program, tomato growing program. Um, go to Ian Nocton and have a look, and he'll explain it. But you basically put a paracetamol in a litre of water and spray your tomato plants, and it triggers a hormone in your plants, um, ready to protect them against blight. It's no good spraying them when 
you get you've got the blight because it won't it won't fight it you've got to do it now before the onset of blight so i should do that on monday these ones here these are my italian tomatoes just put my last one in there i've got to tie them up those two so they climb in um i've put all my beetroot in now i've got a a cylind cylindra beetroot a red ace and beetroot cardell there um it's my calabrese savoy cabbages there that's another calabrese iron man and some more savoys oh, potatoes are all topped up Yesterday I gave these ones a liquid seaweed feed. It's a foliar feed. They'll take that in through the flower, the plant, leaves, sorry. My giant cabbages. Brendan over in Ireland. At this stage of the year, my cabbages are bigger than they were last year. So I hope yours are coming on. Are they in the ground yet? I hope so. Can't wait to see them, Brendan. All my runner beans are in. There. Monish two there. I've done another row there. And these are all my parsnips. They're all doing well. In there is my cauliflowers. Monday I'm actually going to get in this cage and the giant cabbage cage and I'm going to put black um, weed suppressant in between rows, the rows, so I, it will stop the weeds coming up. I'm fed up with trying to get in there with my hands and knees. Red onions, they're all doing nicely. And my shallots. Now, I've never grown shallots before, as I've said in the past. And they've, they're starting to split, as you can see. I know they're meant to do that. But, if anyone can tell me what happens next. How long do I leave them for? When do I pull them up? And when do I start pickling them? They look small to be pickled at the moment. A rose lovely colour that there so, and the grapevine I thought that had died that's coming on this is my wild bit but I think I need to get the shears on it so my peas I've put some more marigolds in my um four beans doing well ah oh, sweet peas that was in that pot i knew it would come to me sooner or later just got to weed my asparagus bed cut down the ferns i've got asparagus beetle and they're just chomping through the ferns and i don't know what to kill that what i can use to kill them because i've sprayed stuff on them and they just it's not like they're resilient to it so if anyone knows how to get rid of asparagus beetle please help um, I've started painting my decking there, but it looks like it's going to rain, so I've given up on that. I'll finish it off on Monday. My poppies and my plants, flowers there, come on. I'm getting buds on them, good, nice. Right. Into the polytunnel, uh, greenhouse. Sorry, here in these ones, as, as well as my marigolds, there, these are giant Russian peas. So, hopefully, come on, good lavender. Look at all those bees. Hello, Mr. Bee. Loving it friend of mine on the plot opposite me 
she's just giving me some chilli plants which is really nice of her I've got this pepper plant here and I've got a pepper there coming up on it <coughs> I might have to give looks like I've got to give my kiwi and epsom salt feed These leaves are going yellow and brown me pepper plants down here coming on the cucumbers starting to climb up the pole there all my chilies in the quad grow have had their feed now so I've mixed that into the water grapevine have one these are my Stump, stump rooted carrots for show. They're doing really well. Pleased with them. Some more flowers and chilies. Some tomato plants there. Round the corner into the barrels. more sweet peas. <laughs> These are my long carrots. They're doing nicely. And then my long beetroot. And my long parsnips. Doing very well. Got loads of apples. Loads of apples on the tree. Courgette plants have survived, they're coming on really well now. Happy about that. Actually, got one well, coming up. Butternut squashes, my arrow barley, uh, really coming on nicely. So, yeah, that's. Well, that's it, guys. That's my plot. I hope you like it. Um, I love it because <laughs> I wouldn't be here doing it. So, yeah, there's still need to get some wood chippings. There's a big pile, but it's right down as you come through the gate. And I hate walking up and down with a bloody wheelbarrow. I've got some sacks, so I'll fill them up and stop with the car, just chuck them in the car and drive down. Lazy of me, isn't it? Oh well. So, yeah. Anyway guys, I'm going to go home and get a takeaway, have a glass of cider and watch the football. Um, I hope you all have a good weekend. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for the subscribers, my new ones. Um, please subscribe. I really do appreciate it. I'm really happy. Nearly 200. So that's great. I never thought in the wildest dreams that I would have got that many so far. So thank you ever so much. And I shall speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye.